to Pilates today, so I'm wearing Gymshark set, and the top is I think also Gymshark. So I've been loving going to Pilates in the morning, it's my favorite thing. Um, I go like maybe two or three times a week, but I'd love to go more. I'm just trying to get my strength up in my body. Anyways, yeah, I'm about to head to Pilates. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera, just because there's people in the class that, um, you know, I don't want it, like, it's a small class, I don't want to get people in it, so I'm just gonna respect other people's space. But I did wanna show you guys the tree now that it's the next day. Okay, so the star is very lopsided. It doesn't actually fit on top of the tree, but I'm just gonna have to keep playing around with it and hope it just doesn't fall. Um, I'll have to figure that out, but this is what the tree looks like decorated. I added these pine cones in it. And I think it looks so good. Like, it looks natural, which I love. So, very happy with it. Yeah. It's starting to feel like Christmas around here. I'm still in bed. What? Just like you're still in bed. It's cute. <laughs> Back there. Like a little burrito. <laughs> Of course football and then okay I know that I talked about this in another vlog but I still haven't gone through and organized my jewelry yet so I'm gonna probably do that I don't know we have a busy weekend because we have we're going out for Sean's birthday tonight we have dinner and then we have a wedding that we need to go to um, tomorrow and then Monday is Sean's actual birthday, so I might be able to get around to it on Tuesday. I don't know, but I'm going to have a busy week, so just trying to get as much done as I can. And then we have to deal with this situation. It's a lot here. Okay, I'm going to go to Pilates. I'm running late, so I need to go. Just got a package in from Love and Tan. Look how cute this is. I'm pretty sure they sell the box like this. So if you're looking for a gift for someone who likes to sell tan, the most beautiful thing a woman can wear is confidence. Cute. Hi, Michaela. We hope you enjoy. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. I have a special code, Michaela Jade. So, loving tan. You're gonna get money off if you use my code. I'm obsessed with their loving the loving tan platinum. It's newer. And you only need one coat and it's like a super ultra dark tan. It's awesome. Oh my god. They just hooked me up. Okay, so we have the tan polishing skin, wait, tan removing skin polishing glove. The applicator mitts. We have two of those. Stunning. Oh my gosh, they got they gave me tin tams. I can't wait to try those. I've heard like really good things about those. It's like a Australian candy. So can't wait to try that. They also, the face tan, gradual tan, bronze shimmer cream, and the platinum mousse. I'm so excited. I have a different tan that I want to use up before I do this one because this one is an eight hour tan so I'd have to do this overnight. And I'm gonna do an express tan, express tan today uh, before we go to dinner tonight. So. I think I'm gonna use this later this week. I'm so excited. This is my favorite tan. All right, we're heading down to the car. We're gonna go get tacos at our favorite spot. <laughs> the taco dance, the taco dance. Oh, Anyways, we're heading to our favorite Mexican spot in San Diego. It's called Mike's Red Tacos. And we discovered it. Well, Sean actually saw it. I don't know where he found it. Yeah, Instagram, I, maybe? Yeah. And... It was, uh, it was whenever we were... When she had first moved down here. And I was just looking up places that, that we could potentially eat at. Oh, my hands smell like dog now. 
I petted, we pet a dog in the elevator. He was so sweet. I was gonna say, I didn't touch his mouth, so. I just, I touched his head and I was like, we're scratching his, like, the side of his face. He was so cute. He was a little pit bull. I mean, it, was, it wasn't Actually, a pit bull, my, it was my a. Head, my hands didn't kind of smell like dog a little bit. It's, um, it's not, a, it's a pit bull, but it's like the, that one breed. I'd have to look it up. But I think that's that's like between that so and the sweet. wiener like little, dogs. It's like a little fat. Those little, are like my two favorite dogs. Little, little fat head. You know how like, yeah, they just have like these fat square heads. And this dog had a big one, big fat head. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's so cute. And he was just so sweet. And he came up and he was like excited. Didn't bite, didn't the, stig growl. the stigma behind pit bulls is not a good one. It's just not. I love pit bulls. They're so cool. Every dog is aggressive if you don't train it. Right? Yeah. Or if they have like, like yeah, if you don't train it properly. Yeah, like if you train your dog properly, like it's not going to be aggressive. Like, right. Exactly. So that stigma like, oh, all pit bulls are, are aggressive and all that bullshit. That's. Yeah. They just have a lot of muscle and they don't know what to do with them. They're strong as fuck. They're yeah. strong. Like my sister's pit bull is a brat but she is like all muscle and doesn't really know that she she doesn't realize that she's all muscle so she'll like come barreling through the house and she'll like knock you over because she's just so like thick yeah, she doesn't know she's her own strength. straight up muscle she's thick so i'm gonna look it up what is that oh yeah this a uh, staffy American uh, Staffordshire? No, I don't actually. Okay, no, you you were right. That was a bully. Yeah, I American was say, bully. I, I, I thought it, it looked like one and just because it's Cardi, ears too. Cardi, I think, is a mix between a Staffordshire and American pit bull terrier. Yeah. But that one was a bully or a Mexican pit bull. It look, looked like. Yeah. A bully. I think it was a, a bully. He had a he had a pretty coat. He had too. his little do docked ears, which I don't necessarily agree with. Yeah, I know. But he, I mean, who knows where he got him. Maybe he got him from, he already got him like that, you know? Or like from a shelter. A shelter, something. yeah, you never know. But he, I was an American bully and he- I mean, that's like, where a lot of- He was like down low to the ground. Like yeah. he's very short and stocky, which is so cute. A lot of pit bulls are from like shelters and stuff like that though. Yeah. Just like they're just one of the most common dogs for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, but between pit bulls and what are they called? Uh, wiener dogs. Those are like, those are really the only two dogs that I could ever see myself like having. Yeah, definitely was thinking about a wiener dog today because I saw this guy was walking two dogs on the way to Pilates. He was walking two dogs and they were on the same leash, but the leash split off into two, and it was two tiny little like Yorkies, and they were just like doo -doo -doo -doo, like trotting along, and I was like, this would be so cute with some wiener dogs. Ah. I just want a wiener dog. I just want a dog. I want a big dog. I like big dogs. Obviously, I would love a wiener dog. I would love it a bit too much, but I'm a big dog kind of girl. Like, I don't really like care for big dogs all that much. Just because most big dogs are, they're not hypoallergenic. So like, my allergies would just be a yeah. shit show. Like a golden retriever, I would like, love. I, I to could, have a I could never have a golden retriever just because it's like. It's never. it's fur. It's just I mean I can't yeah I can't be cured from my allergies. So. Never say never. But uh, it's highly unlikely. I love one. Golden retrievers are like so such good dogs. They're so sweet and they're smart. I mean not that smart, but <laughs> they're like they're kind of like. Do you like, think you're getting an Airbud or some shit? Yeah, like, Airbud. We're heading to Mike's Red Taco. So back to that story, I feel like um, I've kind of got off on a tangent, but Sean discovered it, I think, on Instagram. Yeah. And they were they started out as a food truck. I feel like I've talked about them on my channel before. They started out as a food truck. And now they have they got so popular that they have They were popular a store. before too, like in the mornings, like whenever we used to like go, they were only open Saturdays. By yeah, the way. one one day a week, and literally we would get there before they opened, and we were never the first people in line. Like they were that popular, so now they opened up a whole 
store and restaurant in Claremont. And they're so, open all the time now. And, it's and they expanded busy. their menu. And so they have uh, birria tacos. Birria. I'm trying to say it right. Birria tacos. And they're so good. I get the ones, I get one with the combo. I get one with cheese, one without. Because I don't like, I like to have both flavors. I personally think the best ones are the ones, the regular tacos, extra crispy, no cheese. With the consomme. Ooh. Best. See, I usually I usually get either. Well, they added the quesadilla. Mm, pretty good. Uh, they didn't have that when they first had the food truck. And then um, I usually get the. I usually either get that or the crunch stack. Yeah, it's like a crunch wrap supreme. Yeah, but I mean the the quesadilla is it's fucking insane. Yeah, it's amazing. And yeah. Then, um, they have they have the ramen on there too. We've never had it because it just hasn't been cold enough for yeah. me to like want ramen. And that's like a lot. It's like yeah. real. It's like rich. Rich. Yeah. So like, if I was ever gonna get that, it was just gonna be that might be like the only thing I would eat that yeah. day. Yeah. Thinking that I might start Vlogmas Day Two with your birthday dinner tonight. Very excited about this whole journey. Like I'm really excited to start being super consistent with uploading and just like I feel like we can show our real true selves vlogging I don't know because you can talk for longer you can explain yourself you're not having to like put yourself into a box for 30 seconds you know what I'm saying like yes there's something to be said about being able to connect with people in a shorter time span but I just don't feel drawn to that and I've always been an OG like YouTube girl and I think YouTube's gonna make a comeback. I don't know, I've just been kind of lost a little bit. And I feel like my real purpose, but like what the why behind I do all this is like to connect with people. And I'm like really excited to I mean, you also have do to that. do like things that you like doing. Like yeah. You can't like, I feel like it's never gonna be authentic if you're just doing yeah. something just because you're like, oh, I know I'm gonna blow up here or I'm trying to blow up here. It's like, not even that, like it's like, I feel like for a long time, and I, this isn't just me, this is everybody. I feel like everybody's chasing virality on the internet and everyone's losing that like purpose as to like why you're doing this. And I feel like my why is obviously to connect with people and relate to people and like, you know, have that connection. So, and a community. And I feel like I've lost sight of that. So I feel I'm really confident that like, that a for my YouTube family because they're actually gonna see what we're really like on a daily basis and like really see, like get into our lives and get and see what's going on. And it's just, you know, I feel like you become a more of like a family. It's a beautiful day out here. I actually wish I brought a jacket. Where we're going, you guys, Mike's Red Tacos. So I got the tacos, one with cheese, one without, and it comes with a consomme. And then Sean got, basically it's a crunch wrap supreme with the birria meat in it. But this is our favorite. Mike's Red Tacos, I'll put it up on the screen in case you guys try it. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach out to Tonight we're going out for Sean's birthday. It is Saturday night and it's not his birthday yet, but we're going out for it and we're getting ready. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a second. But right now I'm feeling really bloated today. We had some tacos today and obviously like leftover Thanksgiving food. And I've just been feeling really bloated the last couple of days. And so, I'm gonna take my favorite supplements. These are from Hilma, they're the gas and bloat relief. I'm not kidding you guys. These work in 20 minutes, it's the craziest thing. I've been putting all my friends on this because it's natural, it says natural relief from gas and bloating made with peppermint leaf, lemon balm, and fennel. And it's like a natural supplement and I think they make it, well they do make a ton of different ones. I actually have a couple here that um, for upset stomach relief and then I have one for dairy and gluten. Um, it's a digestive aid. I also have one down here, not very fabulous or anything, but it's for gentle bowel movement support. So it's like helps you go 
just in case you know any IBS girlies out there but mm, I'm take a couple of those and I will not be bloated in about 20 minutes it works that fast it's like the best thing ever I'll link these below I do have a code with them feel free to use it don't use it whatever but highly highly recommend the gas and bloat relief ones they're my favorite ones this is my third bottle of them they're awesome they they're also doing something for christmas where it's like a you it, this is a set so it comes well you can do different kinds of sets but this one has the gas and bloat relief upset stomach relief and dairy and gluten digestive aid i thought that the dairy and gluten one would really help me during the holidays because that's when i tend to eat a lot of crap so Hopefully that'll help me, but definitely the gas and bloat. This actually, I have one that stays in my purse for when I'm going to dinner and stuff like that because I don't want to feel like crap when I'm out. We are going to go to dinner in a few minutes here. I need to do my lipstick. Lighting is just amazing. Okay, here we go. Better. Um, I'm going to do my lip liner and... I usually go for the shade Rare Beauty Fun, but I'm thinking I want to try a more brownie tone. This one is called Wise. I don't know if this is too brown. I haven't used this one yet. Okay, I think that's a bit too brown. So I think I'm actually going to go in with my Morphe Honeymoon liner in the center. Just to make that a little bit more neutral. And I have not used this in so long. It's been a minute because I've been using Rare Beauty so often. And I think that's really dark. So I'm actually just going to rub it in. And then take a piece of tissue and even like kind of even rub it off just a little bit. I want it like, yes, I have something on my lips, but like not crazy. Okay, just sharpen it. I'm going to stick this in my purse. This is Morphe Honeymoon. And then I'm going to add... I think I might pack a gloss with me. Maybe the clear one. I haven't used this in such a long time. I don't know if it's still good. I don't know. Okay, how do we feel about it? I think now that it's blended in more, it looks better. And it has sparkles to it. Hold on, let me grab my phone and show you. Look, you can see the sparkles Fenty diamond milk gloss bomb is the shit so pretty all right so that is my makeup look I need to go put on some jewelry and then I think we should be, and then change my earrings and then we should be good to go Okay, scent of the night. I'm gonna go with Kaoli Vanilla. Mm. This is the best vanilla. Like, so the best. Oh, but this one doesn't last that long. That's the only bad part about this. It's the best. The best vanilla. It smells like vanilla extract. It's so good. I think I'm gonna go with the best. After much deliberation, do the Zara vest. Um, this is from Zara. It's sold out right now, but they had it last year too, and it will probably come back in stock. This is an extra large. It does run really big, so if you don't like the super oversized look, definitely go down to um, a large or go down a size. But this is my outfit for, for tonight. I'm wearing sweater i think this is lock academy or academy i don't know how to say that from revolve and then 
my jeans or girlfriend denim also from Revolve. They are a bit big and they gap. So just the sizing is really weird on them. So I'm just gonna have to get these altered but I'm wearing them tonight. And they are a bit like long as well. So I had to cuff them, but I'm also wearing them with my brown boots from Nasty Gal a couple years ago. And then the Zara vest, slick back hair in a ponytail. This is a very fall, wintry outfit. And I feel like it's just super cute. It's really cute. And this is what I'm gonna wear. Awesome. Sean will show you his outfit in a second. What are you wearing, babe? Chelsea boots, Zara jeans, Levi jacket. Okay. H&MT. Cute. Shop gold, Sagittarius pendant. Let me see. It's cute. Can't really see in this lighting. Maybe step over here. Trying to get it to focus, you guys. This lighting is just not good in here. It's kind of dark. Okay. And that's it. And what are you wearing? Perfume or cologne? I forgot. I just grabbed it's, one. It's a jazz club? No. Yeah, it doesn't smell like jazz club. It's like sweeter than jazz club. It might be wise so. though. I'm ready to I'm ready to go eat. Yeah, Good. going to a steakhouse tonight. Good eats. I am getting an espresso martini. I looked on the menu. I had to make sure they have an espresso martini. The lip mm -hmm. combo is going strong. Oh, my bag, of course. I'm wearing my hand in LA bag. It's just my go-to bag, you guys. It's the best. It goes with everything. I got it in this neutral color instead of black. It's like a gray beige suede. And it literally goes with everything and I wear it all the time. It's my favorite bag. Very cute, because we are walking to dinner. So, I want these so bad. Yeah, but they say love you forever on them. And they're by Drake. Oh, I want these so bad. I don't think they come with the heart diamonds on them, <laughs> but they do come with the Love You Forever on it. I love those. All right, let's go to dinner. Out of my espresso martini. We're just waiting on our table. Cheers. I just got you a little something. <laughs> Look! I got it, I got it. Oh yeah. Sean, stop with that ugly face. <laughs> See, I'm lucky. It's something about that reposado. That shit is ugh. Hey, one shot of that. To the moon! Thank you. Are you, were you surprised? I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I kind of had a feeling, but like, I was like, nah. I'm not gonna surprise her, and then she surprised me. Like, she would never do that. <laughs> so I was like, low key surprised that you like, did that same shit that I did to you. Well, it wasn't like a big surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just so who I could get here. <laughs> no, you I know? Mean, I mean, it's still a surprise, but like, yeah. I didn't. I, I got to the table and I seen four plates, and I was like, in the, in she but they to usually they come and like take them, right? Yeah, they usually come and take them, but she didn't come and take them, so I was like, why is it so poor plates? But I just didn't really care. Nah, it's, it's fine. yeah, ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. Love you. <laughs> All right, we're singing. Enjoy. Happy birthday. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. I know that I don't make. 
Feels in the neighborhood. 